Download the ISO file, it can be also an image file or a DMG file and put it on your desktop. Rename the ISO file to a DMG file. You could also rename the file name to a shorter name just for the ease of use. After that, right click on it and select get info. Then write down the full path name as mentioned in the dialog box. If it is with capital letter, so you, you need to write down a capital letter too. After that, go ahead and start the terminal app. In terminal, write disk util list. Don't worry, guys, I'm gonna put all the instructions in the description below. So now we got a list of the storage devices displayed in the terminal window. And now we are going to put the USB stick in the USB port. And once again, we are going to write this util list. Now we have the same list, but with an extra storage device, it's the location of the USB stick. It should be slash dev slash disk, and the number in my case it's 1. Write it down because we are going to need it later. in the terminal write disk util and mount disk the d should be capital then slash dev slash disk one or the number that you have then press enter this will unmount the usb stick and it will disappear from your desktop And now we will start the burning process. We have you have to write down in the terminal sudo ddf equals to slash path slash to slash the file name dot dmg of equals to slash dev slash desk one in my case bs equals to one m which means it's gonna burn with one megabyte files then press enter now the slash path slash to slash file dmg is the full path from the first step when we placed on the desktop and we got the file name 
and slash dev slash disk one is the file address of the USB stick. Now you'll be asked to enter the password of the administrator. You cannot do it if you are not administrator anyway. This operation should take a while, depends on the file size, so be a little patient. What I'm doing here is not necessary, I'm just writing uh, the disk util list just to get the file path. Once you are done in terminal type disk util eject slash dev slash disk and the file number then press uh, enter. Now the USB is ejected, you can go ahead and quit terminal. What I'm doing now is just so that I am taking the USB stick and putting it in again just to check if it's really burned or not. So as you can see I have the USB here and the files are burned successfully. So thank you guys for watching, please subscribe, rate, comment and see you in the next video.